You know, life is perception. It's not what happens to you in life that destroys you. It's, it's how you think about life. It's your perception of what happens to you. I'm going to start out with this little funny story. The other day, uh, I have this terrible alarm set on my phone to make sure I wake up to get to work. And for two days, it wasn't working. And normally, if it does work, I jump out of bed awfully quick because I absolutely hate that alarm song. But after two days of it not working and running an hour late each day, I don't like being late. The third day, I finally figured out and got it working again. And so when it woke me up the next morning, I just let it ring. And I let it ring. And I let it ring some more. I got up, did what I had to do. I wasn't even in a hurry to shut it off. The song actually sounded kind of nice. And I hate that song. So what changed? Was it the song? No. Was it the fact that I had to get up with not enough sleep? No. The only thing that changed was my perception. That alarm no longer sounded bad because I was just so happy that I was able to wake up on time and I didn't have to rush and do what I had to do and get to work. So my perception is the only thing that changed. And that's why two people can go through a bad relationship and one comes out never, never is the same again. And the other one comes out positive because they learned from it, they appreciated the good in it, and they realized that, you know, it just wasn't meant to be. And they go on with their life and they don't spend their whole life distrusting everybody that comes their way thinking they're all going to be the same and they're all going to be terrible. Another person goes through the same event, comes out and never never recovers. Two people can be in a car accident. One will be thanking God that they survived. The other one will be complaining because now they have another bill to pay. You know, you might have some sickness or some physical disability. Some people just dwell on the disability. Others think of the possibility that, hey, I found out about it. Now I can do something about it. Now I can take more vitamins, take more supplements, get therapy, do whatever medical attention might be beneficial, pray harder, relax, laugh, and realize that, you know, could be worse. I have some deteriorating bone disc problems, which makes it hard to walk sometimes, and sometimes I'm in a lot of pain, other times not so bad. I've had a lot of car wrecks and... Uh, Wipeouts, tubing on rivers, and falling down on fishing piers, and falling off steps carrying a briefcase. <laughs> Never break bones, I just beat myself up pretty bad. But, you know, when I get up in the morning and I'm having a harder day, I remind myself, well, at least my brain works. Or at least I don't have heart problems, or cancer, or diabetes. Yes, I got bone problems. Everybody's got some problem. You know, sometimes when we start out trying to fix our problems, we get discouraged and we quit. And why do we quit? Because we think it didn't happen overnight. But we got to remind ourselves that, hey, life is a journey. We're better than we used to be. We have not reached the finish line, but we're still better than we used to be. So life is perception, truly perception. Most problems in life are through miscommunications because people assume somebody's always saying something bad or thinking something bad about them. But the good news is that most of the time, it's not even true. Most of the time, it's just our, we don't understand their customs, their culture, their mannerisms, the way they look at things. And we, our expressions are not the way they were raised. And, you know. People just don't understand each other. But bigger than the problem of misunderstanding is perception. Because if you think somebody is bad just because they have a different, they're different color or different nationality than you, or if you think all men are bad or all women are bad, your perception is what's going to destroy you. If you can change your perception, you will change your life. If you believe you can go to school and learn and and get through it just like anyone else, you will do it. If you believe you have a chance to get a better job, you will try. 
if you believe that you know you can conquer something or something that's a little difficult for you but if you put effort in it that you feel you're going to be able to get better well you're going to keep trying you know the most beautiful thing in life though next to faith in god and having a having a partner that that loves you is having children that know you believe in them that no matter what happens in life you don't see what's what is you see what can be and that's how i try to live my life i try to be a visionary i try to see what can be instead of only what is i pray that somehow you can change your perception so that your perception will lead you to the place where you were meant to be.